Hey, this is Kyle Shin, IT5. Just wanted to give you this video about the uh, new developments that I have for my Xeon Crane. Now, the Xeon Crane has this new firmware. It's called the Firmware Update 1.50 for Canon 5D cameras. I think it's meant for cameras that are uh, kind of heavier, like a Canon 5D and it says that this will make the Xeon crane handle like uh, I think um, what is it 1800 grams of camera weight so that's like a Canon 5D or the bigger DSLR cameras so I decided to do the firmware upgrade everything went fine uh, the reason being is uh, I wanted to use the my Rokinon from my Alpha DSLR and to my A6000 by using the uh, Sony LEA4. So this whole setup, uh, I measured it, and the whole camera now weighs around 1,100 grams, I think. So it's not it's not like as heavy as 1,800, but considering I only use mirrorless with the kit lens, which was around I think around six seven hundred grams this one is uh like a thousand so I it, the, the lens itself is heavy that's why I decided to do the uh, the upgrade for that Canon 5d um, so yeah I did upgrade it and uh, everything is good and um, I do have some uh, some comments about it though so hear me out um, I've shown you um, a video like three, four weeks ago, and it's me balancing the uh, Canon camera. And I was, um, here, let me turn this on first. I was um, doing this test with um, the Xeon Crane with a heavier camera and a longer lens. And I'll show you this clip here. So I was doing that test where I was basically just touching the uh, the lens and it had that really um, flimsy uh, uh, the, the, the lenses were a little bit flimsy on the motor side where the motor was uh, it had like a little jiggle which I didn't like and you could actually see that on the footages that you're taking so I figured I'd uh, um, do the upgrade and see what it's all about and so this is uh, my Xeon crane now which has the Canon 5D upgrade. So if I was to do that uh, test again by just doing simply doing this to the uh, lens. So yeah, it's not there anymore, that little shake, not like the previous. And I felt really good and I felt uh, encouraged because uh, before when I do this, the camera would like have that um, flimsy shake. But this one, when when you kind of put some weight on the uh, on the camera, it had that it has that nice gradual, um, and the, the motors are correcting it gradually. Uh, not like before, where it was just the version 1.5, where the motors would kind of do a fast uh, correction, and you could really feel this one with the 5D uh, software. You could feel the motors are really uh, tight now, as if like it can really carry the weight. The heavy weight of the camera so I felt encouraged that, oh wow this is this is gonna be awesome um, so uh, okay so I tested it today and um, I was disappointed because just like what I said um, Xeon crane uh, I think is meant for uh, now uh, I know this is against the uh, <laughs> the company but I, I just feel the Xeon crane should just you, you just have to stick with mirrorless cameras anything below a thousand grams or uh, use lenses that are not long lenses but like let's say pancake lenses or short lenses because the moment you put your long lens towards the front um, the motor will de definitely start working it will have a tough time uh, compensating for the weight of the uh, the lens so this uh, afternoon I went to the gym 
with my son and we played basketball and I really thought that the footages would be awesome but I reviewed it and there is still this little shake especially on running and I was doing ninja walks too um, but there's this still little shakes when I'm running and that was unacceptable and uh, if, if I do the same run with my mirrorless camera I, I mean with my a6000 with the short um, uh, you know uh, kit lens which is lesser the weight I'm pretty sure that that uh, shake would not be there but when it comes to heavy cameras like a thousand grams and over I just feel like that uh, the Xeon the crane um, you might see some shakes even with the this new 5d um, uh, upgrade um, when doing invert shots though the crane uh, does a good job I'm not sure maybe physics wise it's better or the camera is more stable when it comes to this so you could definitely do invert shots if you want and not worry about shakes but once you uh, operate the the crane in the normal mode um, unfortunately I'm still seeing the shakes and this is even with my uh, makeshift modified um, glide rig which normally eliminates any shakes or jitters but again uh, I can't help emphasize the crane I believe is better to for cameras from 1000 and below or 800 grams and below and shorter lenses so um, and just to show you that uh, I have it balanced I'm going to turn off the crane right now so this is a well balanced crane um, just to kind of let you know it stays in the middle okay just to kind of let you know that this is a balanced uh, 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 a Xeon crane oh oh wait, oh wait where's the test okay but yeah this is well balanced and um, but that shake is still there so unfortunately I have to put a thumbs down when you're using big cameras a thousand grams and over to the Xeon crane um, you might you're probably gonna see uh, jitters or shakes uh, on, on running though but if you're just walking and you're just uh, you know like slow and doing the ninja walk maybe you can get away with it but when you start running you're definitely gonna see some shakes here's another problem that I have with this uh, new 5d firmware 1.5 so this is a heavy camera it's a thousand grams but um, if I switch to my regular lens let's say for a kit lens or uh, my 50 mil which is very light you're gonna see a problem so here I'll show you okay so this is my uh, A6000 with the 50 mil uh, setup this is uh, like around six seven hundred grams so it's really uh, light uh, as you can see it's well balanced that's that that's that this side here that's that that's that so it stay, stays like that so this is the balance uh, the young crane right now all right so before I had the heavier lens which totaled my whole setup to like a thousand grams this is like around six seven hundred so now if you load this to your crane which has the Canon 5D firmware if I turn on the crane see what happens see vibrating I guess the Canon 5D uh, firmware 1.5 it's definitely meant for heavier cameras so bear in mind if you wanna uh, use the Xeon crane with that version then definitely you should do use the uh, thousand and up uh, cameras but if you wanna 
go again with the smaller ca uh, mirrorless cameras like what I was hoping for would work that after I did that uh, wide angle I would switch to my original smaller lenses which totaled to a lesser weight this will probably happen and I guess the programming right now is meant for heavier cameras that's why it's vibrating so bear in mind if uh, you're gonna do the Canon 5D firmware 1.5 I guess it is specific to the heavier cameras okay so there you have it that's my take on the uh, new software 1.5 Canon 5D um, I guess if you want to operate with a heavier camera be my guest but again I would just stick to version 1.50 for mirrorless cameras lower than let's say a thousand grams I would stick to that version 1.50 stay away from the 5d uh, version so that's meant for the bigger cameras I, I guess if you really want to well, if you really want to operate your bigger cameras um, I wasn't really happy with mine when I had the uh, heavier setup the Canon 5D uh, software still can't hack the uh, the heavy weight. So this Xeon Crane, I believe, is meant for the smaller cameras. If you really want to use heavier cameras, then I suggest you upgrade to their bigger stabilizer, which is the uh, I guess if if I want to pronounce it right, Shining. The Xeon Shining, but I think it's from China, so it may, they might say Xeon Shining. But anyway, um, that's for a heavier setup, like probably three to eight pounds of camera weight. Go to the heavier Xeon Shining and only use the Xeon crane for your mirrorless cameras from 1000 and lower. But again, if you really want to push to your Canon 5D uh, or heavier cameras, you could use the Xeon Crane if you want. But just expect that little jitter, there's that little shake still. And um, if you really want to use your Canon, maybe go to the shorter lenses and not the heavier lenses. Because um, the whole uh, purpose of doing stabilizers is to prevent that, that post stabilization uh, process uh, towards video editing. You want to avoid after effects, warp stabilization or any other uh, stabilization program out there. That's the whole purpose of using this uh, elect electronic gimbals to not go that extra step on post editing. So the Xeon Crane works. It's an excellent uh, uh, stabili uh, stabilizer, but my opinion is stay from stay with the mirrorless camera from a thousand and under the weight. Greater than that, then uh, uh, good luck. Uh, you might have the proper technique and uh, get rid of that little jitter or shake, but. I, th I think I, I use uh, proper technique, but I can still see that little shake or jitter. I'm very particular about it. And that is my experience with the heavier cameras on the Xeon Crane. I hope that makes sense. But anyway, I don't want to prolong this further. Um, this is Canalcer95. This is just an update on my uh, use of the Xeon Crane. Have a good one.